deliciously with ara. Ngayon gagawa tayo ng egg marinated in sweet soy sauce or we call it keran changjurim. And then ilalagay ko yung aking boiled eggs sa ating container. <laughs> so this is a very simple dish. Siguro kaya natin gawin in less than 10 minutes. Even kids can do it. And it can be stored in the ref for up to 3 days or more. Basta um, it's properly sealed. And it's a very good dish that you can eat it as an appetizer with our very steamed hot rice. So are you ready? So first of all, we need to boil our eggs. So I prepared here a dozen. But you can really adjust depending on the family size so you're going to be serving. So habang pinupukuloan ang ating water in a pot, we'll add here vinegar. Kasi when we add vinegar while boiling the eggs, it helps na hindi siya magka-crack. So around 2 tablespoons. There. And then um, we're going to be putting our eggs. And siguro we'll just only boil it for around 6 to 8 minutes the maximum. So be careful with your hands. I'm just gonna drop my eggs. So there, habang pinapakuluan, later on, siguro mga after a couple minutes, I'm just gonna stir it para I can have the yolk on the center of the egg. So, hintay na natin siya makulo. So I'm just gonna monitor our eggs. Isistir ko lang siya isang beses just to keep the yolk on the center. And then, I'll just cover it. So I'll just put there around five more minutes. And habang hinihintay ko yung ating eggs na maluto, we'll prepare the sauce. It's very simple. First of all, we need one cup of water. Actually, the ratio really depends on the amount of eggs that we're going to be preparing. Basta ang sauce, kailangan medyo makover niya yung eggs mamaya. So if you're going to cook less, maybe you can just adjust the ratio less. Basta ang kailangan is one water and one soy sauce. So I have one cup of water. And then, we add tayo ng isang um, cup ng toyo as well. So here I have one cup of soy sauce. I'm just using a very um, any brand, any local soy sauce na mahanap natin. And then we'll just mix it up and I'll add our syrup or corn syrup or rice syrup. This is corn syrup. Um, I'm gonna add two thirds. Ngayon, pag wala kayong um, syrup or honey in your house, you can just adjust the sweetness using sugar. Mamaya, mag add ako ng one tablespoon na sugar, but you can actually taste it. And kung wala kayong syrup, um, kahit sugar na lang, any sugar, basta medyo matamis-tamis. So I'm gonna add two thirds. So that's around two thirds. And just for another texture, another layer of sweetness, I'm just going to add some white sugar, another spoon of it. So, there we go. Now you can adjust really the flavor. You can also add more salt if you think that mas kulang ang one-to-one ratio ninyo ng tubig at ng toyo. And you can add more sugar kung gusto ng mas matamis. And then, imimix lang natin siya like that habang matuna yung ating sugar. And then we'll just chop our licks. So this is around two pieces of buong leeks, but you can actually adjust the amount as accordingly. More leeks mas masarap, pero kung ayun yun ng masyadong maraming leeks, you can actually adjust to lessen it to one. It really depends on you. But I have here two whole leeks. Ngayon, I think papatayin ko yung aking eggs kasi baka ma-overcook na siya ng konti. So I'll just turn off the fire. And then habang nagkukulo na siya, I'll just retain it kasi yung heat ng water, it will just fully cook more. So that's it. That's good enough. So there we go. I have um, leeks, soy sauce, water, and sugar, and syrup. Now, I prepared here sili, but this is really totally optional. If you want something, a spicy bite, you can add um, sili, around two to three pieces accordingly. Or if gusto niya na sili labuyo, you can also add. I'm just um, showing this to you as an option, but for me, I will not try to add any sili because I'm making it for kids' version for my family. So I'm just showing you na pwede kayo mag-add. So there we have already, and we'll add sigur, one spoon of our sesame seeds. You can be very generous with your sesame seeds. There, para hindi sayang. And sesame oil, we need around one, one and a half tablespoon. So one. Actually, naging two, but it's okay. So one to two tablespoons ng sesame oil. This one is a very friendly, kid-friendly menu, so you can really just you know, play around with the amount that you have. Now you just mix it up. And we're basically done. 
So, nabalatong ko na yung ating boiled eggs. It's that simple. And then, tikpan ko yung ating sauce na ginawa. Baka mayroon ako gusto magparang adjust ng flavor ng konti. Actually, it's okay. Pero gusto ko na mas matamis ng konti. So, I'll just add sugar, like one spoon lang ng sugar. So, for you also, you can taste your sauce at this moment and then mag-adjust na lang kayo ng lasa na whatever you want. More salt or more, uh, more sweet, then you can adjust uh, accordingly. So, I'll just have... Uh, one, just take the glana one spoon of sugar. Haluin ko lang. Tikman natin. So tamang tama, yun yung gusto ko. So this is basically like you don't have to cook the sauce, only the eggs, and then ilalagay ko ang ating boiled eggs sa ating container. So kung mas konte, then you can have a smaller container if you want to make more. Actually, you can make more, kasi ang dali lang, di ba? And you can just, you know, it's just can be stored in the ref ng mataga. So I'll just pour our eggs here. Now we'll pour our sauce over. Ming kaya ng ginawa natin. Dahan dahan. And then, um, baka masyado na mag-overflow. So, I'll just um, store this much. Basta lang lumubog ang ating eggs. This is okay. And kung gusto niya may konting spice, as I said kanina, you can also add sili or not. But sa, dahil I want to prepare for my kids, I'm just not gonna cut my sili anymore. So, isang buo na lang, just ilalagay ko. Just for a small, sprang scent lang ng sili na pwede. And then, tatakpan lang natin. So, we'll just keep it like either on the room temperature around 4 hours to if it's gonna be on the ref at this cigarette up to like 3 days. So, as long as na makikita natin na medyo nabubrownish na yung ating um, eggs dahil sa ating soy sauce mixture, then it's ready to be eaten. That simple. So this has been, you know, in the refrigerator for almost a day. So hatiin natin and we'll see if whether next sink that. There. We'll add more sauce. And we'll eat it with our rice. Mmm. It's not salty. Hindi siya matamis. Tamang tama lang. Very malinam nang. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> Masarap! <laughs>